Um, I think Hong Kong fares very well in comparison to the world's culinary destinations. Um, we have a mixture of old and new. We have, you know, the, the smallest cha siu place on a street corner up to Michelin starred restaurants to, you know, world acclaimed chefs. So we have a great range. Cantonese food is known for its purity, lightness, bringing up the the flavors rather than trying to hide them. You know, the focus that you will find in Chinese food, you will find back in the food that we do here. Uh, it's all about the essential and the critical within a dish. It's very textural driven. The, the, the tastes are very um, delicate and subtle. Uh, it's never aggressive or, or, or overpowering. Asian diners are different in that they go to restaurants more for food rather than ambiance and service. It's more important that what's on their plate I can go to really good Chinese restaurant and have the gruffest, nastiest waiter, but if the food is good, you'll forgive it. In many other countries, the big thing could be sport or it could be classical music. But in Asia in general, um, it seems like everyone is passionate about food. I think, you know, the biggest changes, you know, um, in the last five years in Hong Kong is that it's a social media uh, discussing about food and restaurant. And it is interesting, and it's good to see people getting together talk about food uh, all the time. You know. If there is one thing I could change about the Hong Kong dining scene, it would be diners' education. A lot of the expectations or the misinterpreted facts are actually due to education and also the media in communicating it in an effective way so that people would want to read it. I think one thing that would help make cooking a, a respectable profession is more money and um, better media coverage. Some people are also do not understand the extent of how you can really establish a wonderful career in this trade. I think what needs to change in Hong Kong is definitely that there needs to be a platform built for, 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 for training and education within this field. Due to certain economic situations in Hong Kong, I do foresee more self-serviced, more fast turn and more basically fast food driven concepts arriving in Hong Kong. Uh, people are going for fast food or going for foods that are convenient to them. But there is definitely a trend kind of pushing against that current. Uh, Chinese food is worldwide un unjustified being uh, associated with cheap takeaway foods. Yep. Asia food has traveled worldwide. I grew up with Chinese foods. I, I think that China did not show um, th its best part yet. And I think there's a real opportunity for China to come forward and to show the brilliance of its diversity of food and cuisines worldwide. I think a couple of culinary trends that we're seeing um, in Asia's food scene are revisiting old traditions, um, finding your grandmother's recipes, looking into the history of food and how we got here, and then interpreting that in a modern way. I think that's, that's the essence of, of really creating something very, very special, um, whether it's ingredient driven or whether it's it we're, we're looking at sort of old historic recipes whether we're looking at taking you know a, a ancient you know a Qing dynasty concept and, and trying to create recreate that in the modern context reaching out to international foodies i suppose is the thought that asian food is not just for asians it needs to be interpreted almost for a western audience. There's still room for Asian traditions to influence us a little more.